Hey, John here. Here's lick of the day number 47. This is an aggressive Lydian picking lick. As usual, you can find a link to the tab in the description below or by clicking on the screen. And also, as usual, I'm going to play it once slowly and then break the whole thing down. So we start here on the high E string on the 12th fret. Alright, so this one is an A Lydian, uh, and Lydian is the same as a major scale with a raised fourth. So instead of one, two, three, four, we have one, two, three, sharp four. Gives us that uh, Simpson sound. Anyway, uh, we start with this scale position. I'm gonna play through that shape so you can see what we're working with, and then the sequence will be way easier to understand. So we start with 12. 11, 9, 12, 10, 9, and then here the actual shape would be 11, 9, 8, but we also add the 10th here as a passing note when we play the lick, uh, in, well, towards the end of the lick, but just so you know, so you don't get confused and be like, hey, that's out of the scale, and you would be absolutely correct it's out of the scale. If you look at the scale shape in the tabs, you will also see that passing tone uh, notated. So, uh, and then we end here. But again, we'll get to that soon as well. So, really what you want to be able to see right now is just this. All right? I notated this with quintuplets, which is five notes per beat. You don't have to play it that way at all. Uh, just Fun. it's fun to work on different subdivisions and I think it's important to do. So now you have that in the guitar profile if you have that. Otherwise you can also use the MIDI that I have in the zip file so you can get a feel for these groups of five. Uh, but obviously you can use whatever subdivision that you want. Uh, the groups of five can actually sound cooler sometimes when you play them with a straight subdivision like uh, 16th notes. Anyway, uh, also it makes it easier to, to see the sequence here, I think, when it's grouped in groups of five. So, first group of five goes like this. Just start here and then descend that far. Then we start here and go down five again. And then we start here, go down five. So it's kind of like a groups of four sequence in the beginning, but we go down five notes instead. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. But then instead of starting over here, which would make it quite predictable, I skip that one and restart the sequence on the B string instead. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we do another five from this note. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have this group of five. Uh, which is basically 10, 9, and then 11, 9, and then a position shift. That's how I play it. If you want to play, totally fine. Uh, and from this note, uh, even though this is technically the last note of this group, uh, the way that I visualize this lick is basically from this note, I just go up. I fill in the blanks here basically, so... To get into that last little bit, we actually use some economy picking. But from the start we only do strict alternate picking, at least that's what I'm doing, so... But from this note then, uh, just this old uh, chromatic type thing. So, one, two, three, four, fingering wise. But we're starting with an upstroke here, and that's important because we're gonna go up, down, up, down, and then back to where we started. And here's where the economy picking, picking comes in. And I'm just going down a B major arpeggio here. And then land on the sharp four of the of the key so so that that's a good thing to sort of visualize i think so you, you don't get too confused about passing tones and all that stuff so basically you have a uh, 
So I see it as, as two different parts basically. So once I hit this note, I know I'm here. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, otherwise, rewind. All right, when it comes to practicing this one, uh, work on the first initial two groups, I would say. Get comfortable with those two. And why I would say two groups, not one group, is because it's an odd number. Uh, so if you go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, you're basically gonna get different picking every time, which is not a bad thing necessarily, but uh, if you want to stick closer to the actual lick, you would be better off doing the actual... Plus that's very movable as well. You can just move it up the... Up the key like that. Uh, and then you can do the same thing with the next group. Uh, basically... So I'm starting on the second group now, here. So make sure you start with an upstroke. So you go up, down, up, down, up, and then down, up, down, up, down, and then you can loop from there. Do my favorite, just move it up and down the fretboard in increments of one fret at a time. Um, and then you continue on through, throughout the whole thing like that and try to find groups that you can uh, you can loop. For the economy pick part you can just repeat this thing and actually have a pause or you can divide it up into smaller pieces so for example the actual um, economy picking thing here it doesn't necessarily have to include the, the chromatic stuff so you can remove that and start from this note so you go up down up down so you go down up 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 just get that down first. And once that starts feeling good, you can start adding the, the chromatic thing. So try to be a bit creative when you work on this stuff and don't get stuck in only repeating the lick. So when I say don't sit around and repeat the whole thing over and over again, that's true to an extent. You definitely want to do that as well, but rather for a uh, not for building speed purposes necessarily, but to getting comfortable with how, how everything connects and also working on your synchronization and all that stuff. So basically you can just do it very slowly. Something like that, and then do that twice or three times or four times in each position, and then move it up a fret, repeat, move it up, move it up, move it up, and also move it down from here as well. It's a good idea. So you get used to how everything connects and you can get sort of the flow of it. Uh, but the actual speed building and, and fixing your technique, that should be done with smaller, smaller sequences uh, that you take out of this actual long lick. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, otherwise, just you know, leave me a comment in the in the comment section, and I'll try to help you out a bit further. But it's not it's not rocket science. Just guitar playing. All right. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe, since that really helps the algorithm, and that would help my channel a lot, and I will help you in the long run because I can make more content for you. Uh, any questions? Just post them below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this one, and see you in the next one.